Hi there. You scared the crap out of me. I'm Seth McFarlane, Associate Production Coordinating Directorial Associate Managing Departmental Divisional Office Supervisor of the International Network Amalgamation Distributors Corporation Management Organizational Association of Men Who Like Pussy. I'm here to tell you about a fantabulous new series concept I've developed. It's called The Life of Larry, and it centers around the madcap, maniacal misadventures and general mishaps of a lovable but tactless lower middle class moax by the name of Larry Cummings, with his ever-present supportive wife Lois his slightly oversized son, Milt, and his incisive, cynical dog, Steve. Let's look at a scene. And hey, keep an eye out for the outrageous Star Trek parody. Captain's log, Stardate 8169.7. The Enterprise has just completed a routine survey mission in the Gamma Fallopia star system. This is Sulu, a head warp back to six. Captain, the sensors are picking up a planetary mass which does not appear on any of our star charts. My God, a totally new world, rife with fresh challenges for a bold, rash young whippersnapper like myself. Mr. Sulu, I head warp nine. What do you think they eat? Oh, I guess, uh, I don't know, it's some kind of like space jerky or something, I guess. You know, yeah, because, you know, because they're obviously, well, I mean, Shatner is obviously, you know, getting fed fairly well. I mean, somebody, somebody's seeing to that. Yeah, well, I, I think what happens is he uh, eats his food, and then whatever Spock can't finish, uh, he, he eats that, too. Oh, uh, where, where did you where did you hear that? Episode 65. Uh, fat ass is what he is. Captain, I am picking up an unidentified life form off the port bow, possibly a new species. Hmm. Well, we don't really have time to investigate. Um... Blow it up. We'll examine the pieces later. Sir, so we are approaching the planet. Very well. We're beaming down. It could be dangerous. We may be killed. But that's why we're out here. The landing party will consist of myself, Mrs. Spock, Dr. McCoy, and Ensign Skippy. Oh, shit. Honey, is Milt back yet? No, he's not. And I'm starting to get... Starting to get a little worried. I hate it when he does this, you know? I mean, is it too much for a kid to just call his parents if he's going to be out late? You know, I, I mean... Especially in a city like this. It, it ain't safe, you know, Lois. I mean, even in this apartment. I mean, some nut in his underpants could just walk in off the street, bang on the door, and demand God knows what. You guys have any cheese hits? Honey, I think we should move. Well, fine, let's have this conversation for the ten millionth time, Larry. Move where? I, I, I don't know. I get someplace nice and quiet and crime-free and better for our son, you know? Like, like, uh, like London. Oh, you don't think there's crime in London? You, you don't think they have drive-by shootings there, too? Ah, no, no, no. You, you kidding? Like, no, you, but worst, worst London's probably got is, like, you know, drive-by arguments. I say, Jeremy, isn't that Reginald B. Stiffworth, the young upstart chap who's been touting the merits of a united European Commonwealth? Why, yes, I dare say that's the fellow. Oh, let's get him. Oh, Reginald, I disagree. <laughs> Well, as you can see, le thank you, Wang. Thank you very much. There you go. Wang just got here. Well, anyway, in the pilot episode, Larry decides that the problem is, the source of his anxiety is that he and his son don't really connect, if you will. And um, let's face it, Larry's a pretty embarrassing guy, you know? I mean... Let's take, for example, the time the family went to see Philadelphia. I got it. That's the guy from Big. Tom Hanks, that's his name. Oh, funny guy, Tom Hanks. Let me tell you, I've seen him in other stuff. Listen, anything that comes out of that guy's mouth, you, you, you know it's going to be a stitch. I have AIDS. <laughs> Oh, 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 now that, now that is, now that is funny. That, oh, listen, hey, hey, bring that guy to a party in my house and have him say that, huh? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> then there was the time Larry got a spot on Jeopardy. <laughs> Alex, I'll take nuttiness for a thousand. For $800, this chemical dye is found in 95% of all cosmetic products. Diarrhea. <laughs> what? Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. What is diarrhea? <laughs> oh, thank you, Wang. Thank you very much. Would you like some cheesecake? No, no. Well, I would.
Wang, it's delicious. Well, anyway, Larry decides that what he and his son really need... Wang, for the love of Christ, you're in America now. Use a napkin. Larry decides that what he and his son really need is a fun-filled day of pre-planned father-son activities. All right, then. Ensign Skippy's untimely and unfortunate death at the hands of those giant man-eating squirrel people has led me to believe that the aliens on this planet are hostile. Therefore, we must be sure to project an image of authority at all times. We can't appear the least bit weak, so you know what to do. Hey, how about that? It says here there's another state that's going to uh, abolish the death penalty. Oh, is that right? Yeah, instead they make you share a popsicle with Tom Waits. What state is that? I don't know. I got the, I got toothpaste on the article. Looks like uh, Oklahoma-chusetts. Oh, yes, where the wind comes sweeping down the pike. Yeah, oh, boy, I tell you, Lois, Milton and I are going to have a ball tomorrow. I got all kinds of fun stuff planned for the two of us to do. Can I just see the father-son stuff, you know? Oh, that's wonderful, Larry. Yeah. Well, good night, honey. Good night, dear. You know, I, I, I just, I, I was just thinking about just how lucky we are to have a kid. You know, I mean, it, it's, just take it for granted, but it, it's a miracle when you think about it, isn't it? You know, this, this, this whole, this, this birth thing, right? I mean, you know, what, what happens? I, I unload a, a, a whole batch of this, these, uh, these little reproductive apostrophes in, into your, uh, you know, uh, a miracle bucket, and then, and then nine months later, milk comes out. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's just for me, it's got the same kind of, a, you know, awe-inspiring mystique as, as like. Shrinky dinks. For God's sakes, people are trying to sleep around here. A fishing trip's a great bonding experience. You know, I, I swear to God we forgot something. And there's nothing like Sunday Mass to bring a family together. Religion, son. It's through religion that we'll come to know each other better. And so the Lord God smoked poor Job with disgusting boils from head to toe. Oh, God, I hate it when he tells this story. And yet throughout the entire harrowing ordeal, Job was able to keep his dignity despite the horrible mottlings infesting his physical body. Oh, yeah, it's like those, uh, those pictures you see of the starving kids in Africa with the flies all over their face. doesn't even faze them. Sorry. Oh, hey, oh, you think I could have one of those crackers? <laughs> sure. It may offend a few folks, but I can afford it. Well, Larry's an anomaly, to say the very least. I mean, what else can you say about a guy who didn't fart for the first time until he was 30? What the hell was that? Well, naturally, in the life of Larry, there's always a happy ending. After all, this is America. Well, thank you for joining me, folks, and I hope you'll be tuning into the life of Larry each week, because I sure will. I'm Seth McFarland. Thanks for joining me. Good night. Let me give you just a few examples. This amendment does not preempt the states, since that's a cap. The Supreme Court will decide what that cap means, but the cap is not in any way worded to be binding, and in fact, in no way would change any of the current relationship of the states to their ability to do what they wish to do. In the late 19th century, a radical idea emerged that senators should be elected by popular vote, that state legislatures should no longer select the senators. This was a change in the Constitution, an effort to take power away from professional politicians, the state legislature, and to turn it to the people. It will take the deliberate decision of the Democratic Party to deny the American people an opportunity. Uh, yeah, hi, sorry. Uh... You, you got anything in there besides Schlitz? Wang, go home for Christ's sake. All right, Newt, Newt Gingrich in the house.